Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to be working on a new problem as part of the GoMath 2015 Teacher Workshop Series. It's number 39 on the CSET Multiple Subjects Math and Science Teacher Certification Exam in California. A nice problem. It's going to introduce some intermediate concepts involving algebra, involving um, slope. So we'll use this one as a way to sort of uh, start talking about these ideas. And as we do more and more videos, they'll get harder and harder. All right, so let's look at number 39. Uh, it says, use the graph below to answer the question that follows. And you'll notice here, we're given a coordinate grid, an X and Y coordinate grid. And we have some points on that coordinate grid. All right, and this, we could read this E, this e point as when X is 2, oh, sorry, when X is 2, Y is negative 1. This C would be, this would read when x is 4, y is 1. This b would be when x is 4, you know, y or output is 3. And, and what I'm doing right now is I'm just inter I'm just making sure that I, and I want to make sure everyone can read over this x and y coordinate grid and be able to, to talk, uh, identify the ordered pairs of e. You know, e is, you know, when x is 2, y is negative 1, c is when x is 4, y is 1, b is, you know, when x is 4, y is 3. We think about this as our x is the first coordinate, our, our y is, is the second, it's always x, y, and these are, you know, coordinate pairs. All right, just getting a little review here. All right, uh, let's continue reading. It says point E is on a number line with a slope of 2 in the x, y plane. Which of the following points is also on that line? Well, we know where E is. It's, it's, right, it's located right here. It's talking about slope of 2. So maybe it's a good time to just take a quick moment and talk about slope. When we think of slope, I want you to think about, you know, when you think of slope, think about rise to run. Very important that when you think of slope, you think of rise to run. And in this problem it says the slope is 2. So that means, I know it says 2, but it's really 2 over 1. The slope of 2 is, is we think of it as 2 over 1, or rise to run 1. Now rise means we're going up on the y-axis, and run means we're, go, we're running to the right on the x-axis. So let's start at 2 here. Let's start x here. What happens when we go up 2 and over 1? Up 2 over 1. Nothing. Let's do it again. Up 2 more over 1. B. Up 2 over 1. This other point. Does everyone see that? All I'm doing is, you know, I'm starting, I could go, I could, uh, I'm starting at that point there. I realize that, that my, that's E is my starting point. I know it's got a rise, it's got a slope of two or a rise to run of two to one. So I start at that starting point and I go up two, rise two, run one, rise two, run one, and I find out that B, uh, if we drew a line and connected these two points, B would be on that line. Let's see, I want to make sure everyone everyone really feels confident with that. Because that's really that's key. What we've just done is we found the slope between um, this point here and this point here. Now they tell us the slope is 2, but let's say they didn't tell us the slope and they just said what's the slope between E and what's the slope of, of the line containing E and B? Well, we could, we, could, we could work backwards. We can be like, what is the rise to run relationship? Well, starting, you know, if we're at E, how much do we go up from E? How much, how much do we increase and cross over? So I'll be like, it looks like we go up 
I'm on a smaller pen there. Let me get a smaller pen. We go up one, two, three, four. So we got a four rise and we got a run of one, two, two. Now I know some of you are like, hey Chris, I thought you said the slope was two to one. Well it is. We've just found out that the slope is four to two, but this doesn't this get reduced? Yeah, it does get reduced. This is this gets reduced to two to one. So again, we, we found it, you know, just by we found the slope by looking at the, the line and going rise to run, finding out that the slope is two. Um, the problem itself just gives us the points. And we, we use the, our understanding of slope to say, if this point, if this is our starting point and we have a rise to run, that means we go up two over one, up two over one, B and, B and E are on the same line with that rise to run of two, slope of two. All right, so the answer is B here. Team, this is a good video because it kind of uh, just introduces the basics on coordinate grids, on slope, on ordered pairs. All right, team, this is Chris Abram from GoMath. The answer here is B. You have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.